Hi, this is Ray, and today I'm going to be showing you this super easy chalkboard look manicure. I'm going to start with taking off the manicure that I painted last week. I'm going to apply some of this barrier butter from Cuter Cuticles to help protect my cuticles from the acetone. And then I'll place an acetone soaked piece of cotton over my nail and cover it with a nail clip. for about seven minutes. And then I'm going to remove the clips and the polish. Acetone won't penetrate the gems, so once the top coat has been soaked off and the glue underneath is softened, I'll gently lift the gems with a cuticle tool, then I soak my nail for a little bit longer. For pushing back my cuticles and filing my nails to shape, I'm going to apply some Hollow Taco Long Lasting Base. give each coat of polish about 10 minutes or so to dry before I start to apply the next coat. Next I'm going to apply a coat of Sally Hansen's Blackout. finished, I like to use a cleanup brush dipped in acetone to remove any excess polish from my skin. I'll give my first coat of black polish a chance to dry, and then I'll apply a second coat. For this design, I'm going to use Maniology Plate MXM049 and their mint stamping polish. I'll be using the plant images with the names from the middle of this plate. I'm going to use a different design on each finger, and I don't want to have to clean my plate between each use. So I'm going to start with the images on the outside edge of the plate, and then move inward so that I only scrape over images that I've either used or I'm not planning on using. Once my stamps are dry, I'm going to apply a layer of smudge-free top coat. I'll let that dry for a little bit. Then I'm going to use Sally Hansen's Mint Refresh to add a little pop of color to the underside of my nails. So this part does get a little bit messy, so you will want to have your cleanup brush handy.
coats of this just like I would with the top side of my nails. And after everything is dry, I'll use Hollow Taco Glossy Taco on both the top side and the underside of my nails. Let that dry, and then to give it that chalkboard look, I'm going to apply a coat of OPI Matte Top Coat. I got a little bit impatient with my last two coats and put them on too quickly. So I did end up with some bubbles in my finished manicure. Check out my description for product information and discount codes. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Much love.